It's a very important question about sequencing CAR T cell therapy and bispecific antibody therapy. And I think what you're asking me is, can we use bispecifics after CAR T? Is loss of BCMA, you know, important consideration? I would say that loss of BCMA has been shown to be one mechanism of relapse after BCMA CAR T cell therapy. I do not think it's the most common mechanism of relapse. With IDASEL in the KARMA trial, about 5% of patients, you know, lost BCMA. And while it's known, I don't think it's the most common mechanism. Other things like lack of persistence, exhaustion of the CAR T cells play a role. When we think about sequencing these therapies, I have personally used by specifics, BCMA targeted by specifics in several patients relapsing after BCMA CAR T cell therapy with a high response rate. But that's anecdotes, right? Let's look at data. We looked at when the Majestic trial had a cohort of patients with prior BCMA treated patients, including prior CAR T cell therapy treated patients, and over 50% of patients responded. We've had other BCMA by specifics in clinical trials look at these patients and there is a response. And of course, you have other targets like GPRC5D by specifics and there are responses seen. On the other hand, when you look at CAR-T immediately after getting bispecifics within the past six months or so, the responses are not as great. So when we think about sequencing, if at all feasible, I prefer to use CAR-T first and then bispecifics because bispecifics, including BCMA bispecifics, can still retain a high efficacy after CAR-T relapse.